So today we're at Lincolnshire Rads and these lads and the players are going to show us how they recall right here. This is Alan Morris Minor, right? Yeah, that's Morris Minor. And why would someone want to recall a radio? Because you can't buy them brand new. Because you can't buy them. So this is a basically good doing the environment a favour, aren't you? Yeah. Making old good. And the plan with this one is basically we're going to strip the whole rad. So end caps, top and bottom. Um, we're going to get all the damage out of the core, put a new core in and solder it all up. And it's going to be a cool video to watch. So let's get into it. So is this the first stage? The first stage. And what stage, what stage is this? This is the stripping stage. So it's pulling the top yeah. and bottom plate off and yeah. the tanks off. So first off, I want to record where the bits and bobs go. So I just put a little sort of cut on either side there. Yeah. And I just line them back up. So you know that was them yeah. two were together, yeah. That's all it is. So that's just to help you in assembly yeah. later? Because these have got offsets, so you need yeah, to make yeah. sure everything... Yeah, otherwise when you go to refit it in the vehicle, that's it's it. not going to fit. That's it. So that's the prep work ready. Yeah. So all we've got to go, get the PPE on, get the blowtorch set. Yeah. So now we need masks, glasses, yeah. the lot. That's it. Sound. So there won't be much talking this bit because I'm going to wear a mask, but you'll get the gist of what's going on. Yeah. You're a bit bumbly. Even though a mask with a beard is never a good idea. Do I look good? He said we're going to set the flame up. <laughs> so basically this stage is going to melt all the solder off so we can separate it. to bits a lot easier than I thought. Oh, the, the, the butane torch on that is really, really hot. I could hot. tell, yeah. yeah. So, so it doesn't need a lot of heat because there's not a lot of solder underneath there. So just tickle it with the flame, it should just lift straight off. Is that most rads will be soldered? 99%, yes. Yeah. Occasionally you'll find one that's got welded sides or silver soldered sides. Majority of they're soft soldered. So if it was welded, you'd have to just grind the weld yes. off to see Yeah, and then you might be, you, on some occasions you find them well tacked and soldered. So right. you take well tacked off first and then bring it down here and get yeah. the solder out. Yeah, yeah. But there you go. Boom. That's, that's as easy as that. That's, that's how the side friends come off. So now we've got to strip the whole rest, the top so, cap off. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll spin, spin it around the inside. Do you want to take that one off? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm heating up this bit. Yeah. So um, if you look inside there, there's a little hole. A yeah. Nice hole. That's what I'm trying to get warm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you just tickle that with the old flame and then just lift it off as you saw me. Don't touch it with your hands, it's bloody hot. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Got it. Get some pliers on it. Yeah. Just tease it off. Yeah. Do you know that cap falling off there? Yeah. Did you want that to happen? I'll take it all off. Oh, so that see like that that inlet it moves. Yeah. Do you know the angle that that goes Absolutely. back? Absolutely. You already know that. I also know see that. It move I've done these a million times, mate. <laughs> I know exactly how these go. Cool. I've got that five upstairs that I could copy anyway. So you've got a, a oh, pattern yeah, if yeah, you yeah. need it. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. So that's the top cap where you'd fill it up, isn't it? That is. And it just all soldered on. That's correct. Satin to the two plate like that. Yeah. 
and then sold it all the way around. And we're going to shot blast that now. Yeah. And then it'll Get be it ready. Get back down to bare metal. Yeah. And have a good look at it, make sure there's no dents, and then we'll uh, start setting up for reassembly. But the next stage is these are going to go in that shot blasting cabinet, and then when they were done, then we'll take that bottom tank off. Quick example of what that looks like. Soon brings it up, doesn't it? it that's the finish you're looking for. Yeah, well, it's silvery or it's sort of bronze. dual bronze. Sort yeah. Of. yeah. Sort of a. Yeah. Soon bring Paint that up to standard in oh, no time. It does. Would you shop last on the inside yes. as well? The first inch, definitely. Yeah. I'm less interested with the rest of it, to be honest with you, unless I'm specifically looking for cracks. Right. But, yeah. So you're going to shop last it then, inspect it all? Yeah. So while he's shot blasting that, we're just looking around the workshop and links your rads actually do alloy wheel repairs, look. So it looks like a Land Rover wheel. So you've got alloy repairs, fuel tank, you do you do fuel tank repairs as well, Yeah, don't you? we do all sorts. You can do, I mean, we've got a hydraulic tank here at the moment. Uh, we could possibly be making a whole batch of them in alley, seeing as they're right. last long enough. To a degree a better grade. So it's not just Lincolnshire radiators, it's it's all over. I mean I've gone I just see that. Yeah. So you do alloy wheel repairs. Yeah. Uh, well I mean You're doing fuel tank, tank repairs as well. Fuel right? tank, oil coolers, radiators, alley wheels, end coolers. So pretty much anything metal that anything that can be welded on the vehicle pretty much. I mean I think we've got heat around there as well that we're gonna repair. There so. you go. It's not just Lincolnshire radiators, it's Lincolnshire welded. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lincolnshire welded. Like, here's a job here. My man's still shot blasting. Is that the finished article? Oh, I'm just checking. Almost. A little bit around there, and then we're done, I think. Ooh. That's it, all shot blasted ready. Trying to start knocking some dents down. Now it's dent removal, and then he'll go on to doing the other bit. See, there's one here. Yeah, that's good. So that one out. remove all them before you assemble it. Just do that with a little hammer. Yeah. A little bit of wood and a hammer. Yeah. A little bit of patience. A lot of patience. <laughs> so he's got two favourite hammers. This one's called Derek. Is that right? That's right, that's right. What's this one called? This one is the unnamed hammer. The unnamed hammer. <laughs> the abused hammer. <laughs> it's had a life, that one. <laughs> Basically, he's squaring up all the edge now so it clicks into the new core. Yeah. That's it, and you'll, you'll form all that back. See, when you put it into the tube plate, what I'm attempting to do is have it so it's excess, so when I squeeze it in, it's yeah. already pushing outwards into the tube plate edge. Yeah, because that's that's actually going to be internal, exactly. isn't it? Yeah, so you right. want it to flare to the yeah, outer exactly. edge. Exactly, so when I click it in, it's always forcing outwards. Yep. So when you apply the heat, it's always going to be trying to come out rather than in. Yep. And that's the, it's that's going to be a better seal return. for the solder or the brazier. Is it solder you're going to use? It's called soft solder. That's soft the solder. Yeah. So it's not braze? No. Yep. What's, what have I got to do now? The other cap. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it, ready for assembly. Yeah. Now we're going to do you. So now I've got to remove the bottom tank yes. shop and then shop last thing. Then see what the we've got to deal with in there. Right, okay. So it's back to the PPA. Listen up. So I've got to get my mask back on now and yep. basically, whilst it's not so noisy, mm -hmm. I'm going to warm this up and remove this bottom side tank. Bottom? What is it's it? It's a bottom tank. Bottom tank. You see on the top tank, a bottom tank and two side tanks. Yep. So we're removing this with fire and uh, gravity. Yeah, pretty much it.
So we've got the other bits are still working there today, so we'll crack one with them. So we're going to shop last the top and bottom plates, yeah. and now that tank I've just removed. Yeah. And I'm well aware I made that look more difficult than it actually was, but my first time, cut me some slow. Knock me some out, mate. So I'm going to have a go at shop blasting. Where are they? Oh, yeah. So I've just shot blasted these. Look at that, top job there. Eh? <laughs> now we've got to repair this, and this is, um, you seem to think it's probably been jacked up on or hit something. Most likely. This, this is the bottom tank, yeah? Yes, it is. So this would have been the underside of the car. So it's been grounded out somewhere, but that's got to be repaired, obviously, because they're reusing these, aren't they? We are indeed, so we will repair that, and we'll silver solder it. So what's the next stage now? Right, we're going to knock all the dents out of this and get it to standard. To yep. Stop it warping when we put the heat on it for silver soldering it. Yeah. We'll shut that gap up a bit, take some dents out, and we'll set up again for the silver soldering. Silver soldering. Do we need these bits? No, they can stay where they are. Yeah. We'll, we'll concentrate on this bit for now. Yep. So we'll get it in the vise, take off the legs, get them sound, and then knock them dents out. Cool. So this rod here, you say 80 some percent silver? 72, I think. I've just fingered it as well, let's just wipe that down. So awesome. Before I put it back down, because you're going to have to wipe it again probably, uh, these are five pound a rod. Five quid. And they're the cheap ones. And that's the cheap one. And that what we're going to attempt to do now, let me just flip the camera, is going to attempt to fill this hole with silver. And why do you use silver? Because it flows perfectly and it's really, really strong. And you wouldn't use normal solder because... It's not strong enough. Strength overall. Because there's a mount yeah. here. Yeah, and right. it'll stop it cracking again as well. You yeah. Because when you apply it, it creates a foot, and that foot provides a lot of strength. Right. And that's what we're after. Yeah. And you're going to flux it. What's this? Yeah. This is a powdered flux. Basically, we'll warm the uh, brass up, apply a little bit of flux, and then run it with the solder. Right. This is the technical bit. So is that that hole filled? Done. Done? Just like that? Just like that. And there we go. It's not focusing. So that's silver solder, all for strength as opposed to normal solder. So now you'll knock all the dints out of that. Just let it cool off a little bit. No excessive penetration. Yeah. No great big blobs. It's not going to restrict any coolant flow. Beautiful. Too far. I, I would have just turned that into a brass puddle down there. <laughs> so now that hole's filled, it's going to go back into the shot blaster, and then down here is the new core where we're going to reassemble all the end tanks, the end caps, fill a neck. And then that's where the, all the soldering comes in, and you've got to make sure there's no holes, because a radio of a hole is not ideal, is it? Not much good. And this is the core we're replacing. So that's the new core for the Morris Minor, but obviously, We've, he's mended and reshaped all the cap, the end tanks, end plates, filler neck, and the assembly is going to be the, the skilled bit. But we've got to shop blast this bit first, and then we can get to this stage. Here's some other jobs they're doing, and was talking about the size of some of the radiators they do. It won't even fit in that frame. Do you know if a plant? So the, there's there's no job too big. They will do it. They'll recore them. They'll, they'll repair them. And I've worked with Partick for years who are a partner to this company and I never knew that. So they literally do alloys, fuel tanks, hydraulic tanks, heat exchangers, radios, and they do the big plant stuff as well. So there's, do it all. I love homemade tools and there's another one for you, look. Two rubber pads, a threaded bit of bar, and that's it. So we're at the soldering stage now. He's obviously got extraction on breathing apparatus and he's gonna solder this end tank on. I don't know how, but we're going to figure it out right now. 
So we're on assembly. It's a much deli more delicate flame. Now he's going to try and take the bow out of it because it's slightly bowed from factory. That's better, isn't it? Oh, boy. These filler rods are much cheaper than this, the silver ones, but they're still about a quid a rod. What was just before next? Why do you put the flux on after as well? That's to help um, remove the top layer of crud that is created that floats up on top. So right. we get rid of the next one, to get rid ready for the next layer. So you, so you do a multiple layer? Yeah, you do a root and a cap, same as any other format really. So we go over that again and we use the flux to take off the impurities from the top. So now we go again. Yeah. Put the cap on. The cap on now. We did this side, didn't we? I oh, know you're not done this side yet. No. no. See, it just dissolves that the oxides away, doesn't it? It does. It does. See that bit there? Ah, get it now. That is beautiful. Look at that. Yes. So that is it. That's the one bead done. That's one. Yeah. So we'll repeat that three more times, and then obviously one more fill on the other end, fill the ends up, and then yeah. we're ready to put the fiber end on. Bosh. So now we'll set it up for you to have a go. Oh my goodness. Apparently now I've got to have a go, but I'm nervous because I don't want to ruin it. Now we'll see you, bro. back. <laughs> I just asked the question, can I mess this up beyond repair? And he went, nah, I can mend it, if I mess it up. So, we've got hope, there's hope yet. Now, if it was a, a complicated thing, um, the tank was especially dirty. I would run the flame over this one, the flux was in it, and just go in with it. Because the flux was a cleaning agent, yeah. and it was when you wrap the cleaning agent in, yeah. so you can put your flux over it and put your heat onto it, it will bring it to the spotless. It's just resting the top. Hey. And use your flame to manipulate the level. So you put your solder in, and pull out of it.
So the bits of brass there when you mess with your rod, yeah. they're the bits that you need to concentrate on the next layer. So you get a nice, when the solder cools on your um, platform, you'll notice mm -hmm. you'll, you'll struggle to bond on them bits. Right. You'll have to just tin that as you go with the rod on. You can see this is for the brass graph. Oh, it's really good stuff. I never knew. I'll tell you what, it's awesome if I haven't done it. Yeah? Yeah, he cleans copper pipe with it. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. And then this next room, we're letting it cool. Now, this is where you've got to slow your pace down a little. I'm going to turn that down a touch for you. Right. Um, there's this bit though, I'm supposed to try and get around that. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Here you done pretty well. Though. The heat is equal, so you're not going to have any pressure in heat. Yeah. 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 So, speed of travel is where your, your money shot is here, right. and getting it right so it looks correct on the bead height. Because if you put too much solder in, it will drop over the top, yeah, well, yeah, and if yeah. you don't put enough on, obviously the level of the solder won't be high. So we're looking for it to be... Around about equal to the top of the bead, but yeah. not quite to the top of the tube plate, if you know what I mean. So you're looking for about a mil under the top of the tube plate. There you go. Yep. So that's a lot harder than it looks like because you've got to think about the temperature and the amount and yeah, there's a lot to think about there and it was my first time. So there's my effort, now we've just got to do the end cap. Prepping for this filler neck now. Make sure everything's out of the way, get the mask on. He's going to flux it with that and then run a, a root weld, a root solder and then a cap. It's not supposed to plug in the like this. We're nowhere. <laughs> now that can go on there, finish the top of the rod. We've obviously got to put that inletted as well. I'm hoping he knows which way around that went. I can't remember. I'm going to have a go at this now and it should be a little bit better because I've had a practice prior to this. Flux will clean all these oxides out for the top cap. Got no for not going on top of any impurities, isn't it? You can't have anything in there, dust, yeah. air see how the professional does it. So that was my side. No, my side's there. So I'm just chopping that pattern. Yeah, and your man's gonna do a proper run here. There we go. See, I observed you then, you were like doing a dab every inch and then running it in with a heat. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the many techniques you can use. Yeah. You just gotta do these end tank, yeah, end caps now. 
the so that was my one, wasn't it? And then that was a professional one. So the only soldering left now is that water in there, yeah? We've got the side frames Oh, they're soldered too, aren't they? We've got the frame now, so it's stopped the hands getting stuck in. Oh, well, that's not the only soldering yet then. We were prepared earlier. I shot blasted them. <laughs> Just like that. And the only the only way you're fixing them on is a blob of solder there, there, and the same on the bottom. A blob. A blob. <laughs> Attack. Yep. We're gonna effectively bond these to the unit. That's what bolts it to the car, isn't it? Yeah, M2 bolts on. Yeah. Just like that. Now, sir, it's your turn. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, do you do one pass on these or two? I've done two on that one just to get it tickled down the back. Right. And that's just to tackle it, just to make sure it's bonded so it can't come off. Yeah. Do so, what am I doing that one? You're doing the other three. I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay. Hmm? Good we shall see. <laughs> that's the standard you've got to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good, good luck. Good luck, me. <laughs> Amazing. 
Those that didn't catch it, he was filling a dent then, and he was put he put solder paste on, which gave him a base for the solder to etch to stop it flowing off the edges. Then he put the solder on top, but he kept fluxing it to cool it down, which solidified the solder he'd put down, so then he could stack the solder on top of each other without it just being a put on the floor. This is an artwork, and um, so far we've been doing this three hours. You see how labor intensive, just recoring a Morris Minor radio is. It's, it's not light work. It's, this is a dying trade. This is summer. I don't want to see many young lads coming to do, so it's interesting to watch. The solder industry um, leads on in now, I think. Of course, it wouldn't be soldered into the back. So we know that that is going to just clear underneath. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll put a tilt onto the rack, and that holds that back in position. Yep. So when I solder the back of it, I'm automatically soldering it to the inside of the tank. Yep. You get it. It should all work very nicely. That's because you put that solder paste on as well, right. isn't it? So it just guarantees perfect adhesion. Yeah. So when you're radging that coolant pipe off in the future, you don't just spin loose. Well, you're not going to get this one. So this is going to be the cap, isn't it? It is going to be the cap. thing I do also try to do is put a little bit of solder in between the pipe and the bead and that strengthens the bit of brass so it can't wobble yep. in the brass and then all. crack it yeah that's another method of strength yep and then this one you're just doing a cap on this one yep. so you know the inside's already tacked don't that's you? right and then we're ready for a test and then it's a pressure test So now it's the quality control stage, it's going to check it for any distortion, um, any visual defects and then it's going to go in that bath for a pressure test. What did you say, 12 psi? 10 to 12 psi would be fine for a system that's under 7. So this, this system's designed to run at 7 psi, so it's going to test it to 12, 10 to 12, so it's w tested well above its operating pressure. And then it'll go for paint and then that's the finished article. See how much labour has gone into that. Does it pass the visual check? It has passed the visual check. Nothing too much going on with that. So now it's the pressure check. Let's go and see. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're pressure testing and we've got some leaks by the looks of it. Oh, we've got a core leak. There is a core leak. Which is due to tube plate, that can happen. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, I missed a bit. Oh, there's a tiny little a little pinhole crack in the tank and this is why you do the pressure test can you mend that core we could do anything, we could do anything. so what do you do chalk it now so it's... yeah I'll, just, I'll look for a scribe yeah. something a little bit more fun <laughs> there's a pinhole here somewhere and there was a, the core was leaking around here there we go we've got a small fine leak Tube at the back by the looks of it. Oh, there you go, look. Tiny little leak on the solder tube to tube plate. So that's easy fix, isn't it? Ah, uh, doddle. doddle. You can do that. No, you can do that. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'll melt straight through the core and write the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's away. just go home. <laughs> Yeah, Who said men can't multitask? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Welcome to radiators. <laughs> Legal. 
there you go, there's the brass patch that will cover that pinhole. And he could have just filled the pinhole with solder, but that's going to add more strength into it. Yeah, yeah, that's going to stand the test of time. Should it take another knock at the bottom, that's actually going to be able to take a little bit of abuse. Yeah. There we go, pressure test on the way. And we don't see no bubbles, do we? Not currently. We just give that what? Do you say 10 minutes? Yeah, we'll give that 10 minutes and we'll have a final inspection. And then she's ready for what? Drying and spray. Drying and painting. Do you paint, do you, would you paint other than cooling fins? Oh yeah, we'll paint the whole lot. Just paint the lot? Yeah, paint the lot. Um, we use um, eggshell black, which has got a really thin layer on it, so it doesn't affect the cooling too much. Okay. So the dissipation qualities remain the same. There you go. I was going to ask that question at the beginning. Do you paint the core or do you mask it? But you paint it in well, real black, thin paint. Painting anything black is going to help with cooling, isn't it? Yes. Because of the way it works. Well, black absorbs heat, doesn't it? it? Yeah. White reflects heat. Yes. Yes, yes. So while that's being pressure tested, have a look at these. This is what is made. And this is made out of brass. Isn't it? Look at that. And that was pure hand made out of scrap brass. That's correct. And that, so that was a bit of an old call you had kicking around. No, 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 I've made that from tube form. Each one of those tubes was separate. So they were single? Each tube. And you hand build it. And then you make the core, and then you make the tanks, and then you make the sides and surround. And that is pretty much a lifelike copy of what you'd expect on five the five hundred nine and 1920s car. Have you pressure tested that? No, 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 it's just for decorative. Just purposes. decorative. We've not drilled the holes through or anything like that. It's just purely for showing what What's it is we can do. Yeah, what you're capable of. Mm. Does that work? Yeah, that one's screwed. I'm not touching our bracket. <laughs> well, comes off. Just to show that we have use of a, a lathe and we know how to use it. You can use it as a hip flask. Huh? <laughs> so we haven't drilled in Oh, you can't, you can't use it as a hip <laughs> flask. <laughs> it did occur to me, maybe some right fancy uh, computer pullers, wouldn't it? It would be. It'd be an expensive one, though. Oh, <laughs> Let's see if she's still holding pressure. Looking good, but cup. It's just that fitting on the top in it. That, that's not. Yeah, we've got a bum cap on the top. That's nothing to be uh, concerned about. Certainly no tube leaks. She's a good one. So that's passed its pressure test. Now he's going to blow it off with the blowtorch to dry it, and then coat of paint. Paint. Final step. that dry and warm kind of dry just hot enough hot enough to handle but hot enough to uh, dry the water out so now it's time for paint his uh, mask on I'm going to stand out of the way because he's got the extraction on and uh, after paint it'll uh, be ready to sell well I think it's already sold I think it's doing done for a customer She's all dry now, ready for the final inspection, isn't it? So Looks like brand see. new, eh? Look, Look at that. Mint. Beautiful. Got cut off on the last video because I ran out of storage. Um, these lads, obviously they've recorded this, £195 for all what you've seen in this video. Um, they can repair alloy wheels, they can repair fuel tanks, hydraulic tanks, um, pretty much just any... Anything. Made out of non-ferrous metal, we will have a go. There you go, and they're literally pioneer road in Lincoln, next door to Partick, and I never knew how labour intensive such a job was. Never knew. There's a lot of skill goes into that for less than two hundred pounds. Look at it, mint, and a bit of paint makes that look so much different, doesn't it? it does doesn't it? That's ready to it go in. Finishes the job off, doesn't it? That's ready to go into Morris Minor now, isn't it? That'd be all right for the next 20 years. And that's a customer's rad that you record, so it's already sold, it's done. Yeah, that's all yep. sorted, yeah. Just got to ship it out to the customer and he'll have it fitted in no time. Bosh ya. Fix and forget. Fix and forget. She's done properly the first time. And for those that forgot the beginning of the video, here's the old call. That's it for the video. Sad arrow. Thank you very much for your time. No Do appreciate it. That's all right. Good work, mate. Thank you very much. So I'm back home now. Um, 
did forgot to do an outro to the video make sure you like subscribe comment uh, let me know if you want to see more of this style of content put a fair bit of effort into that one that one took most of the day to film and it's going to take all my evening to edit um but i have learned a lot today and uh, i've really really enjoyed it so shout out linkage radios and all the lads and lasses there because they didn't have to do that did they in message i was i'm doing like a manufacturing series on um, my social medias of how stuff's made and they reached out and said oh, do, do you want to visit here and then we had to obviously jump through the health and safety hoops and uh, make sure it was all okay with the powers that be and we made it happen and i had a great time and they let me get involved and uh it was it was just a nice learning curve because i love stuff like that so uh hopefully you enjoyed it too and i'll catch you in the next one okay see you